Welcome back to Frequently Asked Questions. My name is Eric, the Bug Guy Palmer, and I'm with Southwest Exterminators, where we personalize your pest control. A popular question I get at least once a week, if not more, is, hey, especially from new customers, is, hey, um, I had this uh, bug bomb, I set it off, and I'm still having my pest control problem. That's why I'm calling you. And I don't want this video to demonize bug bombs. I don't want to say that they are inherently wrong or a bad tool. They just are a tool, a very specific tool for a very specific type of application. And unfortunately, I think bug bombs have become popularized in the uh, consumer market as a catch-all, save-all, be-all for home pest control services. And nothing can be farther from the truth. A lot of the times when a, a consumer uses a bug bomb, they're using it against cryptic insects. Cryptic insects are the ones that like to hide in cracks and crevices or not, and they're not uh, uh, seen constantly. These are German cockroaches in a kitchen. They are bed bugs in a bedroom. It is lice and mites in, uh, uh, and carpet beetles inside of homes. Uh, and these insects, they're small. Their instincts tell them we need to hide because lizards are coming after us. Uh, birds are coming after us. We're low on the totem pole or the food chain, and so we need to make sure we hide. Now, that's important to know uh, or important to understand that we're dealing with cryptic insects here so we know why bug bombs are ineffective. So let's imagine the way a bug bomb actually works. You take the cylinder, you place it in the room, and you pull the tab, and after a predetermined amount of time, that bug bomb explodes. Boom! And it goes up into the air, and it mushrooms out like an atomic bomb. And it slowly starts to settle back down to the ground. As an even application, evenly coating the area that has been bombed. Well, that would be great if you're dealing with insects that are on top of the table, that are on top of the mattress, that are on top of the couch, that are on top of uh, uh, the carpet. But if you're dealing with bugs that are like bed bugs, that might be in the mattress or underneath the mattress or in little cracks and crevices of the mattress. If you're dealing with co German cockroaches, which are behind the stove, behind the refrigerator, underneath cupboards. If you're in areas that are not flat surfaced and plainly visible, then you're putting the insecticide in an area where the, uh, the organism, the target organism that you're going after, probably is not going to get a whole lot of contact with. And that's why bug bombs typically are ineffective. Uh, and again, I just want to say, it's not that they're a bad tool. It's that they are a very specific tool that are used for a very specific purpose at a very, very, very specific time. So, if you have any other questions concerning pest control, please feel free to send me an email at office at southwestexterminators.com. Once again, my name is Eric the Bug Guy Palmer. I'm with Southwest Exterminators, where we personalize your pest control, and you are watching Frequently Asked Questions Concerning Pest Control. I always enjoy answering these questions for you. If you have them, please send them on to me. I'm having a great time with these videos, a great time talking to you, and I can't wait to speak to you again. Once again, frequently asked questions concerning pest control. I am Eric, the Bug Guy Palmer. Have a great day.